Hello Aries, we're about to do a double reading side by side, you versus them. The overall energy in the recent past that you've had towards your person is that you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You have great clarity about what you want. Um, some of what you've said to your partner in the recent past has come as a shock to them. Um, they do not know if you want stability, which is interesting because for many of you, this is a relationship in which you are heavily invested. Both of you are heavily invested. So what I see with the tower card is that your person doesn't feel like they're in a stable relationship. They feel as though, and that is Aries energy. So if you have gotten mad at them, if you have really spoken truth to them in a very direct way, they find it very unsettling. They're not very good at that. <laughs> Aries, you're the sharp end of the spear. So what we're seeing here, Aries, is that you're invested and you want what you want and you're willing to knock a house of cards down. If a relationship does not give you what you want, you're willing to disassemble, move on, move forward. And, um, you know, but it does show that the two of you love each other. This relationship is very much a very loving relationship, a lot of excitement, a lot of happiness. In terms of how the current mutual energy between the two of you is that you are invested. Seven of Pentacles, you're willing to let the garden grow. Your person is invested with the Eight of Pentacles, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, really wanting to know how to make things work. The way that you view this person is you view them in their best as um, somebody you can laugh with, somebody you can have fun with, you've had lots of fun, it looks as though you're, you want a really great summer with this person. And so how you view the way going forward is that your relationship needs to have a lot of fun. That's part of it. Like, what's the point? It doesn't appear that you're raising families together. It appears that uh, for many of you, you're either not having a family or you're not having a family with this person. This relationship for you, Aries, is about fulfillment, joy, happiness, you know, sensuality. Let's go have fun. Let's, let's enjoy life for God's sakes is how you're feeling. And your person is at the Nine of Pentacles. So you, you have the Seven, the Eight, and the Nine of Pentacles. So when I look at how they view you, they view you as a very successful single person with this Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to go to the desk shot only here. Um, okay, so what we're seeing here, Aries, is that, again, your person's very invested in you. They feel that you bring so much talent, so much energy, so much abundance to the table, whether that's earned income, whether it's your talents, but they just feel as though they've never been with anybody as good as you, as talented as you. That nine of pentacles is, you know, wow, you know, lucky me, I've got this you know, I have this beautiful Aries person who looks good, smells good, everybody wants them, they're highly desirable, you're very independent. So when we look at, I'm getting a really strong theme here, that in terms of how you see them, you will, again, this is a very, very strong energy here of how you want the truth, because we have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, and we have the Tower card. And the way I see this, Aries, is that if your person doesn't tell you the truth, if they are not honest with you, if they are too much of a lightweight with you, you really don't want to pursue the relationship. I feel that both of you, again, are very much in love with each other. However, you've gotten to this, your relationship is mature. Because with the Seven, the Eight, the Nine of Pentacles, it tells us that. The overall energy for you coming into the reading is wanting stability, wanting to be have fun, wanting to enjoy your home, wanting to entertain, wanting to have a good time, wanting to go on a honeymoon, sun card. So Aries, you're in this very, very bright, shiny energy that's quite lovely. When we look at the when we look at the Queen of Swords, the Justice card, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, 
What I'm seeing is you want them to hurry up and catch up with you. You feel as though you're way ahead of them in terms of how you think about the relationship and that you want what you want and you're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. You're viewing your person as a lightweight in love. You really see them as um, somebody who isn't very experienced, somebody who's a bit flaky, somebody who uh, is almost childlike in their responses sometimes with you. When we see what your person wants, they want to move forward very quickly with you. They, this is what I call the quote unquote man with a plan, moving forward very rapidly. They feel as though you are the person that they want to be with. We have the Ace of Wands. They find you highly exciting. A very erotic relationship is what they feel they have with you. Um, they understand that you see them in a different light than they see you. We also look at you feeling very guarded, and your person's feeling very guarded. You have a lot of fire in your belly to make this relationship work. Your person is feeling more like they're criticized, or when you speak your truth, Aries, this person almost cringes. They're not a person who is accustomed to that kind of energy. They're not accustomed to a lot of directness in relationships. They have a tendency to beat around the bush. They have a tendency to be you know, sort of very indirect in their communications. When we look at the energy that is mutual between, you know, you and this person uh, that's hidden. I have no idea what that noise is. So anyway, I'm going to go forward here. The Knight of Swords energy says that both of you are in a hurry to make this relationship work. Both of you want tiki torches, starry nights, romance, love, and adventure in life. When we look at your stability factor in the relationship, we have the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. So, you know, we have Leo energy, we have Taurus energy, we have Virgo, 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 or excuse, Taurus there, we have Aries, we have the air signs, Libra, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and, um, and Gemini energy. So... We get both of you wanting, you're both on the same page, you want the same things. Um, how you see yourselves getting there is very interesting because you're highly invested. You're very invested. Your person's very invested. Your person would like to have some sort of legal tie to you to secure the relationship. As far as you're concerned, it's the emotions that will secure this relationship. It's the loyalty with the dog here. It's the passion, Aries. It's this person being willing to bring what they have to the table just as you bring what you have to the table. So you're very well matched. Um, I would say you're more advanced, you know, emotionally and you know, spiritually than this person. You have a really deep understanding about how to make things work. The Six of Swords says that you're willing to move forward with this person. You're willing to pay attention to the past, but you're not going to let it define you. Your person, however, feels as though you might send them packing. They feel also Ten of Swords stabbed in the back. So they feel as though you are not choosing them, Aries. That's what I'm getting here. They feel as though you're not necessarily happy that at the end of the day, you will not stay with them. And it really unravels them. It makes them feel very, very off-center. So let's look and see what the wisdom of the Oracle has in terms of this relationship. What is the wisdom of the Oracle going to tell us about this connection between the two of you? All that glitters is not gold. So there's some, there's some disenchantment here. Both of you are so, you're very much sold on each other, but what I'm getting here is that your person and you both feel like there's a never-ending story, that things are not always as they seem, or that the truth is not always out there in the open. Time for a nap says that both of you probably need to take some time off as a couple and just try to get back into the energy we have message in a bottle. And that is to try to remember what brought you together. The sensuality, the fun, the laughter, the joy, Aries, that's what you're still looking at. Your person wants all this sort of security. 
and you you can't give that to them at this point because they haven't proven themselves yet to be someone that you can count on. I feel as though, you know, never ending story is like really a story here. Both of you feel that way, but in very different ways. You know, you're very much between two worlds. So let's see what is going to happen now. What is the outcome card for this week? For Aries and love, let's see, just outcome cards. Spirit, please give us four outcome cards for Aries and love. Let's see what we have here. What is this week, the energy of this week? I'm not going to read reversals. Okay, so temperance card. Both of you are very much trying to get along. You want everything to be very calm, Sagittarius energy. You want rainbows. The King of Cups looks as though it is the person that holds back. I think for you, Aries, you do not hold back. You let what you feel be known. But your King of Cups is feeling a little bit unraveled here. Both of you are a little bit bored. Again, you need to invest some time having fun here together because I'm getting both of you feeling bored, but you're in it to win it. The King of Cups says you don't talk too much about your feelings with one another. The Knight of Wands, you're all about sensuality, sexuality, having fun, you know, enjoying the moment, living in the moment, and Two of Swords. Not much really changes. The relationship continues to be stable throughout this period of time. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you like the reading. Please let me know in the comments below.